We're going to start with our examples. Remember, this afternoon, our goal is to find lengths of sides and sizes of angles by using my cos rule or by using my sin rule. When can I use my cos rule? I can use my cos rule if I have three sides or if I have two sides and an included angle. Remember that. So if you don't have three sides and if you don't have two sides and an included angle, it will be the sin rule. Okay, so you have that. You've opened up the sponges here in your brain. You're ready, ready to receive this knowledge. I have people saying that they are very interested this afternoon. And I hope that you can hear me clearly now. Nancy, you said I must just talk a little bit louder. And I am trying here. I hope that you understand when I can use the sin rule, when I can use the cos rule. Okay, let's go to our example number Three, if you have the booklets grade 12, I want to start with this example here. All right, I hope that everybody can see this. In the diagram, AB is three units. AD is 9,5 units. My A is 112 degrees. That angle there is 67 degrees. And this angle is 67 degrees. Do you know what I want to do quickly? I want to redraw this diagram for you so that everybody can see it quite clear. Okay. Okay. I want to draw this diagram here, everybody. I have that and that there. I have that side. Why don't you draw this diagram with me in your books? Why don't you start and you just draw it with me? I have this very small side here and I have that side there. Let's fill in all our lengths and the sides that were given to me. This is A, this is B, this is D, and this is C. Okay, so let's start. They say in the diagram, AB is three units. Put your three down, everybody, on your diagram. AD is 9,5 units. Put that 9,5 down. And this angle here is 112 degrees. Now tell me quickly, is this 112 an included angle? Absolutely, because you have your 3, you have your 9,5, and that angle there is 112 degrees. And then they told me that this angle is 67 degrees, and they also said that this angle here is 67 degrees. Just quickly, what did we learn in grade 8? I'm going to turn my sketch around. If this is 67 and that is 67, this here is an isosceles triangle. What does that mean? My two sides, BC, is equal to CD. If your base angles are equal, the sides opposite the angles will also be equal. Turn the sketch around again. Everybody in front of you, you should now have the sketch. The first question there says, show that BD is 10,98. I have to show that BD equal to 10,98 units. Now, you go to BD. Where is BD? That is BD, everybody. Now you must go and check which triangle am I going to use. Will you use the triangle BCD? The answer is no, because you do not have any lengths of sides that were given to you. They never gave you any lengths. So obviously, we are going to work in triangle A, B, D. Grade 12 learners, what do you have? You have a side, you have a side, and you have an included angle. Can I use my cos rule? 
Absolutely, because at the start of the program I said, when you have two sides and an included angle, you can use the cos rule. Right, so my cos rule says that you, your BD is what I'm looking for. BD squared is equal to, you take the one side that you have is 3 squared, Plus, what is my other side? 9 comma 5 squared minus 2. Open up the bracket times 3. Open up another bracket, 9 comma 5 times the cos. What is my included angle? My included angle is 112 degrees. Grade 12, I have to show them that BD is 10, 98. What did I do? I first thought, what formula must I use? Is it my sin formula or is it my cos formula? I said, we cannot work in this triangle because no lengths of sides were given to me. So we said we're going to use the triangle ABD. And in triangle ABD, I had 3, I had 9, 5, and yes, I have an included angle, so I, use, I am using my cos rule. What am I looking for? BD. So you say BD squared is equal to 3 squared, that's the one side, plus 9, 5 squared, minus 2 times 3 times 9, 5. What is my included angle? The cos of 112 degrees. So everybody go to our calculators and we're going to work out this entire right hand side without lifting up our fingers from the calculator. We do it all in one step. I don't want you to work out. Work out what is 3 squared, then write down 9. And then what is 9 comma 5 squared, and write that out. No, you are going to get marked down for, for rounding off errors. So we type this entire right-hand side on our calculator. Everybody work with me. It's 3 squared plus 9.5 squared minus 2. Open up the bracket. 3, close the bracket. Open up the bracket again, 9.5, close the bracket, cos of 112 degrees. Everybody, on your screen, you should have 120, 6, nor 2, 5, 7, 5, 8. And Junae, you from Sinongo High School, you got that immediately. But now, that is BD squared. And BD squared is 120, 6025, 6025758. Why am I not rounding this value off? Because it's not my final answer. If I want to find BD now, what do I press? I want to get rid of my square. So I press my square root. And yes, we get 10,98 units. There we go. We proved that BD is 10,98. Look what I'm going to do. I'm immediately going to go to my sketch and write 10,98.